Okay. And before I talk about all the main points that you that, let me ask you just some question. Do you guys know this? I, I, I don't know if you guys know. Do you know Bill Gates? Do you know Shohei Otani? Do you know Tom Holland? Well, these are basically people who are really talented. They know themselves. They are talented in some kind of way. For example, Tom Holland is really talented in acting. A Bill Gates is talented in studying or economy and things like that. And then you can see that Shohei Otani is talented in baseball. Well, you know them, man. You, you know them. But how about this? Do you guys really understand yourself? Do you guys actually know yourself? Like in an interview, some interviewee might ask, what is your talent? And maybe your friend might even ask, hey, what's your talent? But when you realize there are a lot of people who are saying, oh, no, I don't know what well, that maybe to me, like, I'm not going to have any confidence to say that, or they are like, our time is not going like, bro, what? Shut up, no, you're just lying, you're just lying, because everybody has a talent. Everybody, every single person has a talent. But then, what is actually the talent? Well, and how do you figure out your talent? It's going to be on both scale. So first of all, what is a talent? Well, let's say you're reading a book, and then you find a word that you don't know at all. What do you do? You open up your Oxford dictionary and search up that word. I was like, oh, what is talent? I said, a natural ability to do something well. I was like, oh, okay, so if you're kind of good at it, you're talented. But then, if somebody asks you, what's your talent? You just want to say something that you're just really good at, or something that you're good at and you have passion with. I think you just want to say it's a good thing. You need passion. So what I thought was, well, talent is something when you're good at something and you're passionate. Now let's see some examples. Uh, how about the baseball player, Shohei Otani? Well, we know him as, well, first we knew him as a normal high school student, a normal high school student baseball player in Japan. He showed up in television, we were like, oh, just like, yeah, that was a new type of baseball player. But now, as time goes on, he grew. He grew as a player. We saw him, we saw his skills go up. We saw his growth, and that, that's it, growth. Growth is the point where you can see the talent. So now let's see how you can figure out your talent. Well, to think of things, you can't just randomly think of things. So let's say hobby, something that you enjoy. But then, again, there are some people again who say, oh, sorry, I don't know my hobby, or blah, 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 something like that. <laughs> okay, maybe not hobby, but what you do, like, what makes you smile, first of all? Like, for example, uh, me. I smile when I huh, watch videos on YouTube, play games, I do hair stopping, and just like work or games, TV or things like that. Uh, and then do programming, talking to those new people. I think that's my hobby, that's what I like, that's what I like to do. Well, now we have a list of things that we might be talented, low percentage, but then, well, how about then the next point is growth again. Well, why you need growth is because if you don't have growth, you won't be good at it, you won't be talented. So what did I grow? Hmm. Uh, let's say, one example is airsoft. Because the first time I went to airsoft, the only people I was able to kill so basically get a hit was only two people. Only two. But after two years, I realized right now I'm on China's hitting points are 22. Uh, it's 11 times more. And then, well, as time went by, it went from 2 to 5 to 10 to 15. And now I have 22 hit points. Or hitting points, maybe I can't think of that. Um, so you can see this growth. But why is growth really important when you see talent? Because, well, when you really grow, you have this grasp, this feeling in your heart when you have success. For example, in sports, you, you, let's say you're in soccer, you get a good shot on the goal. That's the route. You feel, you feel success. Without like debates, when you have a like, really good phrase or you have a really good statement, it makes it feel good. It may, you, you know the success inside of you. So that's the second thing. 
The last step is teaching the key to key issues. Because, well, even though you're good at it in natural ability, of course, there's a limit to it. You need growth, which means that you have to continue. Nothing comes without hard work. But then hard work doesn't come without continuing. Which means that, well, continuing is important. And we even see, we saw the things to continue something. For example, the second step, growth. We saw this graph inside us. The graph makes us feel good. It's like, okay, I'm not trying to be inappropriate or something, but then it's like when you're doing for drugs or anything like that, it feels really good inside you. So then you have to just continue. And how about the first one about enjoying things? Well, well, enjoying is the main part because you have to enjoy to continue to. If you don't enjoy something, if you do it in like every day, it just becomes a routine. It's, it's just a bit boring. So like, it's like, it's basically like school to study. You just go to school, you study the same thing. That's not funny. That's why it's not only that person do that. But then, I think that's the important part. So then, now we figure out these three steps. But then, you still can't have this image. How do you actually find out your talent? Well, let me try right now, right, right, like right here. Uh, well, all of the hobbies I told you guys today was maybe more, you know, entertaining things like that. It was a little bit more. I want something I could do. So how about I say, what is my favorite subject? What subject do I enjoy in school? Well, I really love science. So let's say I have to stick with science. Uh, the second step, well, yeah, growth. So what did I get really good scores in, and where how? What in which fields of science did I have growth? Let's say uh, I've had chemistry and physics. Uh, those two I had really good growth in. But when if I can continue? Well, chemistry I wasn't able to continue a little bit, but then it started to get boring. <laughs> Um, but then, physics never bored me. Reading all those textbooks, reading all these things that lectures, that the things that the teachers say, the professors say, was really interesting. So then, I think maybe my talent might be. Uh, well, I can't assure you because you know, this is what I think. But then, I think my talent is maybe physics. So maybe I can still grow. I can make it my talent. Like this, you can actually make your own talent, and this is what is important. Well, so next time somebody asks you what you can, think of these three easy steps. Then you might be able to answer eight questions and that can help you too hard. Everyone who has time for